As you mentioned, two men in their 40s have been arrested. One of those police say was living at a tent at the encampment at Strathcona Park. Now, unfortunately, as you mentioned as well, for the victim, she did die in hospital yesterday. And here in the neighborhood, there is some relief at the fact there has been arrest, but they are now dealing with the loss of their neighbor. Many of them here saying they know her. There's now a growing memorial on the steps of her home just a few minutes ago. Some neighbors came together to drop off some flowers. There's now a candle burning, and they say everyone knew her, one of them describing her as a neighborhood legend. The crime left many in the neighborhood fearful, and news today of the victim's death has left many here grieving. I don't want to be part of humanity that doesn't acknowledge injustice. But, you know, for a, a single senior woman to, to go like that, that's not fair. She's, uh, you know, there's a lot of them leave going by COVID, but this was, this was brutal and unjust and uncalled for. Friendly, just kept to herself, didn't really want to bother anybody. A sweet, sweet lady, you know, and she, you know, did her exercise. She walked up and down and she would say hi, wave to us. And It's believed the attack happened around 6 a.m. Sunday morning and the victim, 78-year-old Usha Singh, lay badly injured for hours until police were called to check on her by a friend. News of the arrests has brought some relief, but neighbors say there are still so many unsettling questions. You know, 6 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, you know, very strange, you know, and the fact that they seem to know that she was an older lady living alone is, uh, is, is worrisome because it seems like they maybe have been watching her house. Two men known to police were arrested yesterday, a 47-year-old near Strathcona Park. Police say they executed a search warrant at his tent in the encampment after needing to call officers from across the city as backup. They were met by a very volatile and hostile crowd. Uh, as they were trying to execute the search warrant, approximately 50 people did encroach upon them and attempted to interfere in the work that they were doing. Uh, very abusive verbally. The other man, a 41-year-old, was arrested in a trailer near Main and Terminal. But as for motive, what, if any, connection the men had to the victim, what has made police believe they were impersonating officers when they attacked her, and how police were able to quickly identify them as suspects, the VPD wouldn't say. I appreciate there, there are a lot of questions. Uh, this is a very high-profile incident. There's a lot of community concern, and I would love to be able to answer those questions. However, this is a, a case that is uh, before the courts, and I'm not going to say anything that could possibly jeopardize uh, the uh, the outcome of this investigation. It's just it's far too far too serious and far too important. And neighbors want to see the attackers held responsible. There's a lot of homeless people who are not nasty criminals. They're just a, something that's happened to them because of the way we live right now. But these people don't, you know, they got to go away. A really tragic case, uh, Susanna. What more do we know about the suspects? Yeah, one of them is Pascal Boutillet. He is 41 years old. He was the one arrested near Maine and Terminal. He is currently facing second-degree murder charges. He's previously been convicted of break and enter as well as theft under $5,000. The second suspect, Sandy Parisian, was 47. He is one who was arrested at the encampment at Strathcona Park. He is facing a manslaughter charge at this point. He was already wanted on a Canada-wide warrant at the time of his arrest. Mike? All right, Susanna, thanks very much.